I've done some film and I love it. I love, I love television. I even love commercials. I, 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 love, I love animation. I, I love using uh, my voice and my imagination. Born in Mississippi in 1931, he later moved to Michigan where he was adopted and raised by his grandparents. Jones suffered from a stutter while growing up and barely talked. He wrote in his autobiography, a teacher helped him overcome the speech impediment by reading out loud. In 2016, Jones told Fox News even decades... How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 How's it? It's uh, September 10th, Tuesday. Mm, Tuesday. It is actually debate day. <clears throat> it hasn't started yet as of this recording, but it's on the television and it's going to be in there. Like, <laughs> they're talking about. I suggest. If you're gonna watch it, you don't need to. But if you're gonna watch it, just just kind of relax and tune in for a little bit, and just kind of go hmm. try to be the objective <laughs> listener and just go hmm. Because I think just doing that, you don't need any of the commentation. <laughs> what is gonna happen? What is that? I think there's gonna be a distinct difference between their personalities and that's gonna come across and then people can make up their mind <laughs> what they're gonna vote for. That's awesome. Speaking of voting, okay, today's September 10th, making tomorrow September 11th, the uh, 23rd year anniversary since the bombing um, the terrorist bombings of the Pentagon, the plane that went down that was supposed to go into the White House, the Pentagon, and the World Trade Center in New York, the Twin Towers. And, um, yeah, so, so that's tomorrow, 23 years ago. I don't know if anniversary is the right word, but, uh, on Postmasters, it's also Wednesday, so the Postmasters, go. a couple people are sick, so we're thinking of canceling, because we have a few people, and there's like text messages coming 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm the president of the club, reluctantly, for another couple years, and it's like, they can't make it, no one wants to do it, and I just, look, you guys would do, do votes, right, because it's very, Postmasters is very democratic, it's pattern that way so as a president I'm not the dictator to tell people what to do and I don't bump people off the club and I don't so I'm not the autocrat it's he put it up for a vote but there's one this is like people just keep going yeah the president cancel the meeting they, they want me to do what they you know them like they want or, me to do orders from them and order people are listening to it. Jesus, God. Okay. <laughs> right when all this political stuff is happening, too. And, uh, what else is going on? There's just tons. <laughs> Who cares? They shot some crew oh, off into space boys. again with SpaceX. They waited for the right window, and they're off into space. And they're civilians. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Okay, you know what? Just quickly, this is this is do the news. See what's going on. I'm trying not to make this long. The news, Hawaii debate showdown. Of course, that's today. Kamala Harris, Donald Trump square off to press their agendas. Yes. That's hopefully they say something about their agendas. Uh, and the state wants to take over Kaka'ako Kondo project. Mm, affordable housing. It's just a joke. It's not really affordable. What's in the Sports. This guy, Campbell. He's from Campbell High School. He likes hiking and fishing. <laughs> they, they, they really uh, feature the local players. And this is linebacker Zachariah 
Alu Alu Tuiolo Motu. Alexis. Okay. Give me a sec. Jesus. Back in the day, maybe. Just relax. Remember back in the day when you were relaxed? You don't understand. I don't understand. Remember back in 72? What it is is kick back and relax. You just go out and park your car on the side of the road and uh, pull out your um, Rolodex with... Does it have an antenna? <laughs> this is Robert Mumby, research statistician, statistic, statistician, say that, for the State Highways Division, demonstrates a new speed radar unit mounted on a car next to him, recording speeders along the residential of Poly. The speed limit's 35 on the Poly. Yeah, come off the Poly and you're doing 35. The brake a lot. So there's the speed guy. Hey, look, you're going too fast. I'm going to... <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's going to run after them in the uh, Aloha shirt. Nice Aloha shirt, right? Oh, political cartoon. Longtime Republicans, Liz and Dick Cheney. I had a uh, vote in Democratic in 2024. Kamala, Kamala. You got a problem with that? There's Dick Cheney <laughs> with his gun. Because he's uh, notorious for the kind when, um, you know, he uh, went on a hunting thing and shot somebody in the face. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Got away with that. I mean, like, you didn't say, like, oh, just that's nothing. I'll just heal. My face can just heal. All right, we're going to do play this real quick. Trump failed when given the chance to be a leader. We got him the recent letter. World is too dangerous for Harris's presidency. Cite article September 4th. Perhaps the writer is on an interstellar mission in 2020. Ooh, space. Here's what happened on planet Earth. Upon learning about the spread of a dangerous virus from China, Donald Trump, against the advice of his medical advisors, chose to minimize the threat. He said over and over that COVID-19 was like a flu and downplayed the need for masking or social distancing. The result? The U.S. became the worldwide leader in COVID-19 deaths. It is no accident that red states fared worse than blue states. Many unnecessary deaths would have been avoided if Trump set a good example and followed his medical, medical advisor's recommendations <laughs> not injecting bleach rather than mocking them only when the u.s started suffering tremendous casualties did trump started changing his tone too late when the world the, the when the world became its most dangerous trump failed miserably as a leader ravi ready kailua and um hmm One more. Trump hush money trial was an embarrassment. I keep reading and hearing the liberals utter, President Trump is a convicted criminal. Everyone who is awake during those court proceedings could see how completely biased the prosecutors and judges were. Even very liberal law professors and scholars stated as such as much. Those sham trials ain't should have had a chance to a change of venues at the least. Studies estimate that between 4% to 6% of people incarcerated in the U.S. prisons are innocent. If 5% individuals are actually innocent, that means 1 in 20 criminal cases result in wrongful conviction. The Duke University lacrosse team and the Central Park Five are just two high-profile injustices. Let's be real. James Prickett, Mealy Lani. Um, thank you, James, for uh, talking in two resource and bringing that up. Mm. Yeah, let's be real. Jude? <laughs> hey, Jude, don't make it bad. Okay, let's make it bad. Let's be real, James. <laughs> Duke University. Duke University. <laughs> Look, Trump handpicked two Supreme Court justices, and now the Supreme Court is biased 
to the MAGA side to the degree where a 50-year precedent, Roe vs. Wade, was taken out, shot down, dismantled, because he wants to please the evangelical voting bloc. And he's out there going, I got rid of abortion. And then... Nobody knows. When that's unpopular and he gets win, he's like, well, it's wishy-washy back and forth on it. Then he has this thing, 2025 uh, agenda, which is he's starting to implement. He wants to make the Department of Justice geared to attack his opponents and jail them. He wants to put oh, millions and millions of people in a mass deportation. <laughs> I didn't even watch the. the, the this is, anyways, let's be real. <laughs> Change of venue. That's yeah. Like, see, because he's trying to. If you're guilty and you're trying to change the judge and trying to change the venue, you're trying to lessen the impact of. You're gonna be found guilty. <laughs> how do you feel? And how do I feel? I don't know. I I, I feel good, but things are going wrong. So, uh, that's it. Let's go check out the debate. But first, the sunset. Yes. Aloha. Have a good day. Aloha to you. It should be all nice and sunny. Revolting. Revolting? No, it's the sunrise. See, there's Maui in the Eastings. Aloha to you. See the big, the big Haleakalo. Maui. Oh, it's kind of soft. Okay, aloha to you. Have a good day.